everyone, I'm Haley and I'm opening a ZWO Seastar S50. Let's go. And inside is a box. <laughs> and in this box, there is Another box! It feels like styrofoam, but stronger. Let's open it. Whoa! It's so cool! First, we have the tripod. Instructions, solar filter, more instructions, and the telescope itself. Let's set up the tripod. There's also a nice bubble on top to see if your tripod is level. Time to put on the telescope. All plugged in and ready. It can be plugged in or it has a built-in battery so it doesn't have to be plugged in. These are the lights to show what the battery percentage is. It come with a cord too. A cord. And it's using 14.8 watts. Six. <laughs> Let's turn it on and see what happens. It changed colors. Powering on, ready to connect. Whoa! Let's go on the app. Let's hit connect and see what happens. Connect. Hmm. Let's press it. Connection confirmed. It's connecting the Wi Fi. Looking for an update. Later. Press update now. Start updating. Oh, it's going fast. It is connected and it says 66%. We are going to try solar. Oh, it says to put the solar filter on, which this is the solar filter. Whoa, it moves. That's so cool. Let's snap in the solar filter. It is in. Here we are outside. Let's start. We're ready and we're gonna hit installed and go to. Start calibration. I had to spin the whole telescope to get the calibration complete. Let's continue. It says finding the sun, one moment. It's moving. Whoa, it's on the sun. The sun in the center? Yeah. Whoa. That's so awesome. Now I'm going to hit auto focus. Auto focusing. Whoa! That's even clearer. I'm 
I'm going to take a snapshot of it and switch it to video to record for one whole minute. I can record in raw mode, but it will be black and white. But the resolution is higher for when we edit later. Here I am sitting in my living room about 40 feet away from my telescope, but I'm still connected to it. How awesome! We switched it over and look at those trees. They're so clear. How awesome! This is going to be so cool at looking at things in the night. We are on a cloud and we're going to hit autofocus to see how clear the cloud looks. It's getting better. Autofocus completed. The cloud got so much clearer than it was before. Watch the autofocus change to the tree. Wow, that really changed the tree's look. Whoa, what's that over there? Let's hit autofocus to see what it is. I wonder what it is. We're outside now and we got a chance because there's no clouds. So we're gonna use the astrophotography mode on our telescope. Let's go stargazing. We're gonna look at the Pac-Man Nebula, NGC 281. Finding object. Ooh. We're gonna click autofocus. Autofocus is done, so we're going to start imaging. It's taking 10 second images and stacking them. Oh, there's the first one. That's already great. After 30 minutes of the Pac-Man Nebula, we switched over to the Witch's Broom Nebula. And we're at 9 minutes and 50 seconds. We're back and it's the next day and we're so happy we got to try out our new telescope. So we get to give you our review. Stay tuned until the end because we're going to show you some of our astrophotography photos. Okay, time for our reviews. Was it easy to use? Oh yeah. I give it a 10 out of 10 and I'm only 12 years old and I had no problem setting it up right out of the box. Is it portable? For sure. I carried it out all by myself and it has an excellent carrying case that is included in the price. Can you use it anywhere? Absolutely. It creates its own Wi-Fi signal so you don't need Wi-Fi. Plus, it fits in a regular backpack. And because it has a built-in battery, you can take it camping, hiking in the woods, or even up a mountain. You need to supply your own backpack, so I give it a nine out of 10. Is it fun to use? Oh yeah, 10 out of 10 from me and my dad. Who was the Sea Star S54? Anyone who loves the sky, moon, and stars, and that wants a quick and easy way to explore and share their images with others. It's been super fun making this video for you, and I can't wait to share all my astro photos with you. Stay tuned for future videos. Bye!